Hey guys and girls and whoever out there is paying attention because it's about the art of paying attention. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about getting some darn sleep. But I'm going to kind of do it in a two-parter. I just want to do a quickie because I'm all excited and spry. And I just want you guys to know, stop freaking eating so late at night. Because your stomach's got to work over time, right? So you've got digestion, and now your stomach is full. And the best way to get to sleep is on an empty stomach. And that's because we don't want our stomach to start working. We don't want our cortisol rhythm to get out of control. So you're not attached to the circadian rhythm, clearly, which I'm going to mention in another video about getting up in the morning, even if you're a night owl. I mean, even, well, there's no such thing as a night owl, but even if you work a shift job, make sure that you get up when the sun rises and allow the sun to hit your skin. That's a little trick on how to be exposed to the right hormones. Get your circadian rhythm right on tracker. Okay, so basically, if I go back to the whole eating at night, it's like, you don't want, I mean, basically, if you have an empty stomach, you're gonna release more tryptophan. And if you eat, you're gonna only release less tryptophan. And if you eat muscle meat, which a lot of you lifters out there are doing the whole chicken breast, which is like, you know, has a lot of methionine in it, which then, again, blocks tryptophan. So if you ever wonder why you're not sleeping well at night, maybe it's because you're eating on, are you going to sleep on a full stomach? For people who, who eat carbohydrates that absolutely are using carbohydrates to lower their blood sugar because you go from high blood sugar to low blood sugar and that gets you to sleep. But see, that's not very good because you're gonna wake up to cortisol because your circadian rhythm is off, your serotonin is low, melatonin is low, and you're whacked. So don't eat late at night. Besides, you want to be in a, you want your body to be in a hibernation mode where everything slows down so it can start to repair. How's it going to repair if you have a full stomach, you guys? So people say, I can't go to bed, I can't go to sleep, I'm hungry. But your body will get used to not having that full stomach. Your stomach will shrink, everything will be fantastic. If you want to learn more, you guys, you can go to stephanieperson.com and learn more about ketogenesis, and I'm starting to just open the broad spectrum of subjects. Or you can go to Stephanie the Business Person to learn more on how to be healthy, how to preserve your DNA, because we really don't want too much methionine, too much. We need methionine, but we don't want too much because we want to preserve our DNA. We don't want the overproduction of cortisol. We want our cortisol rhythm to be on the exact right timing that we need to run real quick from a lion or <laughs> to fight. So that's the fight or flight syndrome uh, response. That's what we want in, if we're actually in, a, in an emergency state. Otherwise, we're training our bodies to slow down. And that's including our metabolism. Okay, guys, that's it. Dink, 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 dink. I'm gonna do another half of this stuff.